Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how spike arrest policy works. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, you can register at enterprise.rpg.com. You need basics of API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. In this video, we're going to see how to throttle API requests using spike arrest policy and protect your target servers against denial of service attacks. Let's say your target server is uh, capable of processing tens of requests per minute and at any particular minute, uh, if there are more number of requests coming in, it might bring down your target servers or introduce latencies. If there are any further requests, uh, legitimate requests, then your target server might not be able to process those requests since it went down or it might be uh, having performance issues. So how does RPG 8 solve this problem? Since RPG Edge sits in between uh, the client and the target server, all the API requests go through RPG Edge and you can do API management using policies. We're going to use the RPG Edge spike rest policy to protect your target server against denial of service attacks. We can mention rate in uh, spike rest policy. Let's say when you mention rate as 6 per minute, then RPG Edge is going to divide the 60 seconds uh, into intervals of 10 seconds and it is going to allow one request every 10 seconds. If there is more than one request uh, that is coming in in a 10 second window, then only one request will be processed and the two will be discarded. So that's how RPG Edge uh, spike rest policy smoothens the traffic that will reach the target server and uh, protects the target server against denial of service attacks. Let's see spike rest policy in action. Uh, for this you need RPG Edge account, uh, you register an RPG Edge account and create an API proxy. For that you can refer earlier four minute video. Once you create a proxy, we're going to attach spike arrest policy. As a general uh, rule of thumb, we attach spike arrest policy at the very beginning of API request flow in the proxy endpoint preflow so that we can catch the spike arrest uh, 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 spike in traffic and that is the traffic that will reach to the uh, target server. So click on preflow in the proxy endpoint and uh, click on step uh, above the request and add the spike arrest policy. Just for the demo of this video, I'm going to mention the rate as 2 per minute. That means uh, uh, we're going to allow one request every 30 seconds. Uh, generally, you might observe more than one request is allowed in RPG Edge uh, in the spike arrest. The reason behind is uh, uh, a particular org might have more than one message processors where the spike arrest policy will get executed because both will have different uh, uh, counters. Let's save the API proxy and see it in action. We're going to use the trace console to make an API call. So let's make an API call. As you can see, the first request is uh, 200. Uh, the request went all the way to the target server and then came back and the spike arrest uh, reported no issues. And uh, let's make a few more calls. So the second request uh, is actually 200 because we have more than one message processor. Let's make one more request. As you can see, since we have more than one message processor, it's going to allow multiple calls. As you can see, the fourth, re the fourth request onwards, I started giving 500 and the spike arrest got kicked in. As you can see, the response that is sent back to the target server is allowed rate 2 per minute. So every 30 second interval, it is going to allow only two requests since we have two message processors and we have mentioned the spike arrest as 2 per minute. If you, can, if you make more than uh, two requests within 30 second uh, interval, then everything will be fine uh, with spike arrest kicking in and protecting the target server. So that's how the spike arrest policy works. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to post your questions in community.rpg.com. Thank you.